Hello, everybody. Welcome to the POV podcast, and I think this might be an episode. I think this might be. I don't know what the hell this is gonna be, anyways. But I just want to come to y'all and just talk. I have been BSing with this podcast. That's honesty. I've been BSing with with NAW because some of the episodes came out late. Some of the episodes came out a little bit rushed. But other than that, I'm trying to mm, I'm trying to look for a job and see what I'm going to do about school. Cuz I want to get a um a job to make money and try to start my own stuff, you know? You know, get a microphone, get this, get that and try to, you know, get some money, you know? Nothing wrong with hustling. Illegally hustling. You know? But, yeah. So, I've been thinking about getting a job. I've been thinking about going back to school. And, you know, because the semester ended, like, weeks ago. Or last year. And I need to go back to school. But I forgot to to register back up for the, for the next semester. So, that's my fault. My own bleep, my own stupidity. But yeah, so back at it again with the POV podcast. So let me tell you guys a little bit something that is going to happen throughout, you know, the duration of this period. I've been live streaming on my other channel, the Graveyard Shift. And, like, basically, I've been live streaming randomly, you know, random games and all that stuff. You know, just me playing games and talking and, you know, just interacting. Try to be human. Try to, you know, do something that that might be fun. You know, live streaming some video games and all that stuff on the computer. I might do it on the um, PlayStation. So, get ready for that type of BS that, that's going to happen lately. And the next thing I've been I've been trying to do is like I'm trying to do like a little um legacy fed, which is bit well a fed that the art has history and they, you know, wanna get prog you know, get just ex- showcase some of my my other creations. That's all it basically is for. I might do a show, I might not do a show. I might, you know, because I might already record a show, in the, and it's not going to be weekly. It's not going to be weekly. And, yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. Here are some, like, announcements. One announcement I want to say is that I'm going to be hosting a my own version of Tournament of Death. It's going to be called the... Tournament of Survivors. Basically, the whole tournament is a deathmatch tournament. And it's invitational. Anybody can join it. We all, like, we need, like, I think two wrestlers joined. And I put one of my own wrestlers in. So, it'll basically, we got three. We need Eight more. I mean, what the hell? We need five more. It's gonna be the tournament's gonna be the eight man tournament. Every match is gonna be different. Well, every round is gonna be different. The first round is is fans bring weapons. Next round is gonna be I think landmine. Then the last round is gonna be barbed wire. Well, it depends on how it goes. So. Because, you know, tournaments can be weird sometimes. So we're going to have a eight-man tournament of survivors. And we're going to... And it's going to be just... It's going to be fun. It's, like, it's going to be fun. Like, I'm kind of excited. It, it's it's going to happen in, in the spring, maybe. Probably in March. Not February, because I'm, cause I want to be realistic here. Like, with the times. Because you will have a deathmatch tournament in the winter. <laughs> and I want it to be outside. Like, 
make it kayfabe outside, like an outside dome or something like that. Or I might do it in a high school gym. And it's going to be in Fire Pro. So, yeah, because Fire Pro has all the stuff that I need for a deathmatch tournament. So, yeah, it, it's going to be on Fire Pro. If you want to join the tournament, type in the comments below if you want to join in on, on, on a tournament. Winner, I don't know what the hell winner gets. <laughs> probably bragging rights, probably something. I, like, I might, like, I might make an announcement about that soon. Just, just think about it. <coughs> Damn it, mucus. Fucking bastard. But, yeah, that's, that's the tournament thing I want to do. <clears throat> Next thing, I was, um, if y'all look into my news feed, I did say something about a new Fed coming to the family, but this ain't mine. I'm not I'm not the whole owner of the Fed. I'm just a person helping out a good pal. A good friend, I could say, officially. And we're going to start like a um territorial feds. It's gonna be under one brand, like the NWA, like like the NWA, IWA. I, I forgot. I think that thing was called. It's gonna be like this, right? He don't got the PC version of Fire Pro Wrestling, but I do. We, we're gonna run the Fed together, but it's gonna be two versions of it. The first version is the PC version, which is my version. That is the East Coast. That's what I call it. LWL, Legacy Wrestling League, East Coast. That's the PC version. The other version is LWL, Legacy Wrestling League, Southwest. That's the PS4 version. We're going to have a little shared roster, but we're not going to share the roster. If you want more information about it, look at the news feed. It's below in the in the um description. And I I think I think I might post a link up to everything about it on a separate link. I don't know. I I need to stop being lazy sometimes. <clears throat> I think I I think I'm sick. I really think I'm sick. But yeah, Legacy Wrestling League is a fed that's still being worked on. We still still think about the roster, and um, if y'all if you, and if y'all wanna know how this thing's gonna work, like what's the championships and stuff, I'm gonna say this: we're gonna have one championship that's be cross territorial, like the like the NWA championship used to was be back in the day. It was cross the whole territories, and um, we're gonna have. Exclusive belts. For example, Southwest. They got the women's championship and the limitless championship. The the women's, you know, is self explanatory. It's for the women's division. The limitless is like open weight. The East Coast, me, is gonna have the tag team championships and the continental championship. The continental is like a mid card title, but it's really not a mid card title. It's just because every title is gonna have the same prestige. So that means, hopefully, this makes sense. The tag teams or the open weights can main event the show. If y'all want to know about events, how the event's going to work, you know, because how the hell can an event work if one's on PS4 and the other one's on PC? Easy. We, we're going to have our own events, but we're going to have a shared event that is going to be cross-territory. I'm about to say brands, but I, 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 I don't know if brands is the right word for it, but it's going to be, like you know, cross Brand, I don't know. I don't care anymore. It's going to be cross-brand. Because it sounds more easier to say. <laughs> Basically, we're not going to have a mega event. What the hell was that? 
we're not gonna have like a mega event every month because that means we're gonna that means I gotta work twice as hard to make up all the roster from the PS4 and to transfer them to the PC. So we might have a month. So we might have like four to six or five mega events because the territories gonna have their own events, their own big events. But the cross join is gonna be our mega event, and yeah, and the main tile is gonna be on the line every mega event. But it's a lot to talk about about this show, about this little you know joint. Will it be on this channel or the or like or a separate channel? I don't know yet. If it's on a separate channel, that'll be kind of easier sometimes, I guess. Depend on how we're gonna transfer the piece, the, the, the PS4, like videos or footage, over to me so I could edit them. <coughs> but I'm already working on some of the stuff for it, like graphics and um. We're gonna have a like we're gonna have interview segments like the old school professional wrestling pre match promo or pre match interview post match interview all that stuff. I'm working on like stock stuff for it, like stock images and all that stuff for it, so we can just reuse all the stuff instead of like making a new version of it. It's gonna take a lot of time. We gonna make it pre. I, I, I'm making stuff pre-made, so once we get the show running, it'd be more easier, and I could just make do the stuff. But what's gonna be happening to NAW? NAW is still gonna be around. I'm still gonna work on it. Hey, I mean, I got some stuff I want to do for it. You know, maybe use that to promote this show, or use or vice versa. You know, use NAW to promote LWL because some of the because I might use some of the talent from NAW to bring over to LWL, or vice versa. What about PSPW? I don't know about PSPW anymore. That's completely honest to you. That's just something I just kind of thought about doing. What about Superstars? Superstars are still going to be around. It's going to be monthly events. You know, because I have a drive to make a lot of stuff. That's in all honesty. I, I'm a Pisces. Cedric knows this. I keep bringing up Cedric because Cedric knows me well now because I... I give him that impression. I start feds and I kill feds afterwards. But I want to prove him wrong. I'm going to prove him wrong. I'm going to make NAW stay a while. That's my flagship show, NAW. Everything else could die. But LWO, it's a, I'm helping a friend out by giving him some advice. Some graphics and make it more entertaining by having, but oh, actually make it more different. WCC Wrestling Cup Classic does their brands. They got the PC brands, Strike Force and Trap Down, and then they got their PS4 brand, aka their developmental brand, Elevate. It's gonna be a lot different than WCC. You see, LWL is going to be wrestling oriented. <clears throat> if you watch NWA Power, it's going to be just like that. Well, not just like that, but like it's going to be similar. Like you can see some stuff from it, and um, the article for it that I made for it. It's in the description. Hopefully, I put it in the description. If I don't, I already have the newsletter. Like, the whole thing, jiggery, everything that's going on throughout the month. So, I got that there. So, that's a start. 
now I need my dumbass to literally put the whole article in the description. Anywho, what is it going to happen throughout the whole point of view? I'm going to still look for people to 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 legit interview. I'm going to going. Blah, 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 blah. My God, I'm doing this one take because I'm because I'm don't want to edit this. I'm doing this on OBS and not Audacity this time because God dang, I need to save my storage. <laughs> Audacity was easy for me, but this time, this one, I just want to do this one, just do one take and all that stuff. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going. To, I'm still going to do interviews. I'm still going to do this podcast. I'm still going to do some episodes. And I'm still going to be doing what I want to do. I might do another episode tomorrow, maybe. Depending on what I, depending on what I, what I want to talk about. I kind of want to talk about wrestling right now. Not just wrestling as a whole. I'm talking about wrestling as a type of combat. And e fedding Some of these e feds wrestling sucks, but... That's honesty. I'm not shouting at everybody. I'm not shouting about specific people. I'm just talking about in general. Some e feds wrestling sucks. When I watch some efeds, I get anxiety because I'm like, go for the pin, go for the pin, go for the pin, man. But they don't go for the pin. I'm not talking about, you know, board efeds. I'm talking about gaming efeds because that's my thing. Their wrestling sucks, but they don't go for no pin. Some of the efed stuff is just wacky. Some of them, I some of them do it on purpose, and I can respect that because that's their style. But some of them do it just to do it, and I'm, or they just don't know how to do it. And I can still respect that because that's just you. That's honesty. Like when I watch two K E feds, sometimes when it's sim versus sim, like like simulation, what the hell, simulation. Simulation, CPU versus CPU, computer versus computer. Sometimes they go for the pin after certain moves. Sometimes they don't. If it's a choreograph fed and they don't go for the pin, I get anxiety and I just be like, oh my god, it's just oh. Whereas well, on Fire Pro, you can see that a lot in Fire Pro. Fire Pro, just go to the priority attacks. Set your character big moves to pin, depending on what move it is. Set it to pin, like any. Like when I say big moves, I don't. I'm, I'm not talking about the genre or the little category big moves. I'm, I'm talking about the move itself that is legitimately. After you do it, go for the pin. I'm talking about that. That's what I'm talking about. That gives me anxiety. And it's just, it's weird sometimes. But most Fire Pro fans are simulations anyways. And people either new to Fire Pro or they just don't really care. If you're new to Fire Pro, I, I, could, I could deal with that. If you don't really care and you just want to see big moves out of nowhere, I'm not judging you, but I'm just saying, in my opinion, that's not wrestling. If you don't like my opinion, I can respect that. That's my opinion. I'm not talking about no facts. I, I'm not here to hurt anybody. I'm not here to bash at anybody. I'm just telling you my little concerns. <coughs> my throat is dry and I need some water. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sick, I think, and I think I catch a lovely cold from my cousins and my grandma. So, they're passing the love over to me. I don't know if it's a cold or I don't know if it's a sickness. Sometimes I think I'm dying sometimes, but it's whatever. Anyways, back to the topic. 
what is wrestling? Wrestling is just a sport and and a choreograph of excellence, an art form of like no other. Wrestling is an art form. You could do it good, you could do it bad. But the art is within the eyes of the artist. Wrestling is an art form, people. But think about it. Wrestling can be choreographed. Wrestling can be a shoot. At the same time, it's an art form. In the eyes of the artist, it's art. Basically, anything could be art. It could be garbage wrestling. It could be art. But the eyes of the artist or eyes of the people that likes it think it's art. I probably don't make any sense. But that's just what I see. I lived for 18 years. I've been a wrestling fan for a long time. And I've seen some stuff. I watch some stuff. I be immature about some stuff. At the end of the day, it's how I see things. Anyways, I just want to say, I want to give some companies some little shine right now. I want to say this. This might give me backlash, or this might help out a little bit. But WCC Wrestling Cup Classic and CWF Championship Association Wrestling Federation, whatever the hell they call it, <laughs> is just CWF. I love it. WCC. I love it, and sometimes I don't like it. Sometimes, like, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'd rather watch WCC a lot than CWF for certain reasons. I could watch, I could binge watch CWF more than a WCC because reasons. And I'm gonna give you my reasons for right now. The reason why I could um watch WCC more than CWF is because WCC they don't. They showcase certain talent that I kind of want to see. And sometimes I just want to watch it just to watch it. That's that's honesty right there. But, but I could binge watch CWF more than WCC because CWF doesn't, isn't that long. WCC is like 15 hours. But I, I like them both. I like them both for my own reasons. I like WCC because I'll be honest with you, it's because the commentary. The commentary, I just like the commentary. I do, I do like the commentary, but like they could be retarded or like whatever. But at the end of the day, I like the commentary. It's a two man booth. Both people sound passionate about wrestling. They sound passionate about wrestling. I'm not saying TSTWF doesn't have passion. He's passionate. The person who makes CWF is really good. They do they know their sh- they do they do their shit right. Same way WCC. They did their shit right. They sound passionate. They probably like I was like, since it's fire pro fed, the wrestling's not that good, but they sell it well. You can make a bad wrestling match look good. It will sound good because of commentary. But that's because, I'm going to be honest with you, some wrestlers in WCC, they can wrestle, but sometimes they can't wrestle. Not all of them, not all, like, they ain't perfect. They're not perfect. I'm not, I, I don't want them to be perfect. I want them to be normal, to be human. But think about it, right? I'm not bashing on nobody. I don't want to bash. If I bash at you, that means I truly do not like your stuff. And I and I really don't care about you. That's when I bash at you. But I'm not bashing. I want to see things improve. You don't have to make a perfect edit or a wrestler. You don't have to make a perfect wrestler. 
Not every wrestler can be perfect. They can stand out however they stand out. You can make them however you want it. That's you. Do you. And the and ways of Cedric, do you, boo. But the thing is, it's like, if you want to make yourself a wrestling promotion and want to showcase real wrestling, there's a way to do it. I'm here to help. Everybody in the community is here to help. Everybody has different opinions, different ways of doing it. Choose one you like. CR Fire Pro. That's the only promotion I know that showcases real wrestling. And they did it great. They're not perfect. But they're fucking fantastic. HTW. They're getting there. I haven't watched the shows a lot, and I and I don't like myself just for that. But well, not really. But you know, I mean, extra. Like basically, I don't really watch HGW like that because I because I either forget or I don't really realize the show is on, and I was like, oh crap, the show's on. I need to watch it. Then I have to. Then I watch it late, and I'm just like, "Dang it! I kind of miss it. I feel bad. For, I feel bad. Like, I, I'll be honest. I do feel bad for not watching them on time. I do feel bad because John's John's my boy, and I respect him. And basically, he's a cool dude. And I don't want to um, be that one guy that doesn't watch all that doesn't watch his shows. Just, I'm just here to, like, I'm here to, I want to support everybody that I watch and everybody I don't watch because they need that support. They need to be showcased. And my throat's dry again. Water's good for you, people. Don't make, don't make your piss yellow, okay? Okay, boys and girls? Okay, but <sighs> it's a lot. You want to support somebody and you want to support them really well, but you feel like you didn't support them really well because you didn't watch anything or you just don't, or, 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 or you give the impression that you don't care. It's terrible. Anyways. Let's talk about collaboration. Collabing with another company can be tricky. Collabing with another promotion can be tricky. Another person can be tricky. Because you got to get on the same page. I have this dream scenario that NAW collabs with CR Fire Pro just for one time only. Or collab with any Fed for one time only and start just... Not going for a war. We're not doing a war. We're doing like a little collaboration. That's all it is. We can trade talent. We can talk about other promotions. And we could just, you know, have this one little show. Like a super show. Like a like a Ring of Honor New Japan thing. Super card of honor. Or, no, that's what's going on. G1 Supercard. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. G1 Supercard. Something like that. That's what I want to do. I want to do that with any, with any promotion out there. My promotion is probably taped, but now since I don't really tape them a lot, probably doing it on the day of, or 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 on the week of, I just record it, then edit, then do that. Probably might be end up doing it sometimes, someday. Since everybody want to do live streams and you know not recording and and put promos on stuff, even though John is the only person that does it, which is crazy. You know, live stream it, then have promos on the day. 
That's crazy. I never knew that. I never knew he was going to do that. But that's freaking cool. But if I do a collaboration with any other fed, any other fire pro fed, I want to collab with either NAW and CR, AOW like my this like my um new my new Japan type fed and Figure Four. LWL and maybe CWF or or WCC. Since the person I met to do that fit came from WCC, and that's all I got. <laughs> you know, I never thought I would get this far in e fitting. To the point I make friends, to the point I make allies, to the point I have, you know, relationships. Not like not like relationships relationship, but I'm talking about just like relationship as in like a partner type relationship. Like partnership. Fuck. I said it wrong. I feel like a dumbass. Now I need to um correct my mistakes. <laughs> I have a partnership with other people. And that, you know, it's freaking amazing how far I came from a nobody to a, um, just a cool person just to talk to. And I give my opinions. I'll be, I'll be honest. I'll give my opinions and I will just, you know, be honest with you. If I say your stuff's crap, your stuff's crap. Well, it's not, not me or you know. I'm just saying, that's my opinion. So, I'm going to probably do this little segment where I just talk about my my opinions on certain things, but, yeah. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> Maybe I could just say this. e fetting is hard. It is a hard thing, hard hobby. But it's worth it and it's fun. You don't want it to be easy because making it easy is going to get boring. Making it hard is going to get tr- challenging. It's going to be more fun because you can do because you want to challenge yourself. And that's what I'm doing right now. It's hard for me to stay up to date with my stuff because I have a lot of things going on in my dome piece. And it's just crazy because people like my stuff. I never thought that would happen. You know, I'm you know I'm just looking at OBS and I see my little background for Mal review. I might do a Mal review on a um on a EFED event. I might do that soon, probably next month. Because if I do it this week. That'll be really crazy, but I might do like I might do most likely a my review next month if early this week. But what show am I gonna do a my review on? I don't know. Probably something to do with HTW. Probably something to do with CWF. Probably something to do with WCC. Both WCCs, World Championship calls and and um. Wrestling Cup Classic. We never, we may never know. So I am a random person. I do stuff out of the blue. I'm, I say one thing, I do the other. <laughs> Something's wrong with me, people. Something's wrong with me. I need to go back to the hospital. But that's a, another story time for another day. That, I, that I'm probably not going to do. So... For those who want to get into e fetting, I'm not the podcast for it. <laughs> Another podcast, the e fed podcast, is for the ones that does the. If you want to get your e fetting, talk to that fool. He's a really good person. 
Shout out to the EFA podcast. They're a really good podcast. Even though I did it before him, but I'm not that relevant. So he I let him take the credit. <laughs> but I just want to say this to to everybody who wants to get into e fetting. If you want to get into e fetting, I would say think about what you want to do with it. Think about a ingo. Think about a um well, it depends on what type of effect you're going for. If it's boarding effect, I'm not the person to to, to to talk to people. If it's like a gimme effect, I would say be original. Think about your roster. Think about what type of effect you want to do. And think about if you really want to do this. Because effetting is a hard thing. It's It's not easy, but it's kind of simple. All you need to do is, I want you to have an original roster. Nothing, like, you could use other people, people, like, other people's, you know, characters, but, or wrestlers. You use their other people wrestlers, but have a set base roster that you created so you can experiment with certain things. Like, what I mean by that is that experimenting so that you get used to what you're doing. And you can experiment with other people's, well, well, yeah, experiment with storylines, stuff, and um, just your own imagination. Because e having a, like gaming e like having an original roster is powerful to me. It's powerful to me because that shows what is your thing thoughts like what you're thinking about like all this and that it shows that dang it this freaking highway so i like i like original rosters i don't like when like most of the roster is depending on other people's creations i don't I, i'm not a big fan of that that's just me but i like having an original roster because you experiment more you could do more, and you know, just you could just do whatever, whatever hell you want. Dang, I hit my fan. <laughs> like for real, an original roster is powerful. But when it comes down to the matches, the matches is the ma- the matches is a hit or miss. The characters is the characters. You can love them or hate them. That's for the audience to to decide. But the matches can make or break a character. For Fire Pro, my little trick that I learned from a good pal of mine. Big moves get priority priority attacks. Your big moves have, have to be a pin to make sense in a match. And for 2K, if you want to choreography a match, you could do that. I don't care. Make sure you know what you're doing and make it seem like a real wrestling match instead of a game. That's just me. And that's just people who want to do real wrestling. Like, I want to, like... I just want to, like some feds, I just want to literally work with them and help them make their show better. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care if I have to kiss somebody ass. Well, not really, because I have dignity. <laughs> I have my self-respect. And I'm a top, not a bottom. <laughs> but, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I want to work with other people feds, okay? I want to work with other people feds and try to help them make it better. Whether it's by graphics, whether it's by, you know, helping out with the characters or something. Because the thing is, I want to see people succeed. I don't like when people fail. I like to see 
Like, even though there's a lot of feds and not enough wrestlers, I want to see feds who wants to be noticed, notice. What was that one show I kind of watched? Let me see if I'll find it right now. It was SSW. I think it's there for Super Spirit Wrestling. Yeah, Super Spirit Wrestling. Good show. Very good show. I was literally, I liked it. It was phenomenal. And if and if you ever watch this show, will watch this podcast, I want to say this. Your show was amazing. I love it. It's long. I don't really like long shows like that, but I could I could watch it. Like I I could watch it. Even though they use big moves early on in the match, which kind of irritates me. The wrestling is kind of good. Commentary I love. And the atmosphere, I love it. Like, I watch it when I get my work done, and I watch it just to watch it. Super Spirit Wrestling needs more views, needs more subscribers, and they need a lot of love. Another fed, I don't know. Like, I need to watch more of Figure Four. Figure Four deserves my... He deserves my attention because he works his ass off with his feds. Like, god damn, man. You, like, I, I need to give you some of my love. Same with Edgen, man. I forgot what fed he runs. I think it's the same fed that's on this advertisement right now. Not Pony Sports, but something else. But... It's another sh- like he runs a lucha show. I think he deserves my attention too. Hell, everybody deserves deserves my attention right now. Like all y'all motherfuckers are freaking fantastic. I don't care what y'all say about yourselves. If you got beef with somebody else, just squash it. It's not even worth it. If you got beef with somebody on this freaking podcast, squash it, my guy. Like, agree to disagree and move on. You do, like, you do your stuff, you do your stuff. If y'all want to talk about it and agree to good terms, that's cool. I want you to do that. Anyways. You know, I think I might end this podcast soon. Not like end the whole thing as a general. I'm talking about end it like as in this episode. But I want to say something about new new extremes wrestling. I like their newsletters. Their the news feeds is gold to me. And I feel like some people should do that. Do do like a little news feed, man. Make up your own news. Put on all put like put, you don't have to do like a Fire Pro Online did something like that. But it's a podcast version. It's a short podcast. I love it. I love it to death. They need to do more of that. Please. If you need me to be on the podcast with you to, you know, make some make some stuff up, I'll do it, man. We could agree to something. I start talking about it. You start talking about it. And we have a good gig. A good gig. But since it's a PvP fed, I probably won't be dedicated to it. Like I, I will probably do a little matches here or there, but I don't do PvP. Cause, Cause that's too much pressure on me. And I can't be that guy to be on time with certain with certain things. I want to do things ahead of time. On my terms. And if I remember the date. Then I'll do it. But that's just me okay. I'm not a perfect guy. I'm not perfect. I'm not a good person to. 
be all depending on. I'm not a person to be dependent on because my dumb ass would do something stupid. That's just on honesty. Matter of fact, let me join the server. I want to join Fire Pro Online server right now on on this air. And that's what I just did. <laughs> but, yeah. So, all in all, EFEDs, I want y'all to succeed in 2020. This new decade has arrived, and we must rule it. This is going to be the year of the E-Feds. I promise you. It's 2020. 2020 vision, year of the E-Feds, my guy. That's what we got to do. We got to do things rough. We got to do things hard. We got to do things strong. Even if I have to work my ass off to make NAW a fucking... <laughs> I'm laughing because it's like I'm sounding retarded. I'm going to work my ass off to make NAW one of the greatest... E-Feds in the independent circuit. Not in the big leagues, because I, cause hell no. I can't do no pyro. I want to big things by terms. I swear to Yeezy, it's going to be rough for me to get used to this. <laughs> Anywho. Can I just say this? Like, I'm probably just BSing right now. Because I got all the time in the world right now. But. How the hell you do PvP feds? Anyways. That's besides the point. But. <laughs> I might get off. I have, I have to record this show. I really do. I have to record. NAW. Right now. But. I'm going to leave y'all guys with my little opinions. Right now. Starting with one, CR Fire Pro is one of my favorite feds. I love it. I don't really binge watch it, but I really do respect the hell out of the person and the crit and everything about it. It's freaking amazing. HTW, I need to watch them more. Figure Four Leg Lock, need to watch them more. Edge and Stuff, yeah, I need to watch his shit more. <clears throat> WCC. This is not. This is kind of my opinion. Don't take it as a freaking fact. The the wrestling's not that good, but the but the product is actually pretty impressive. Love it, and they need to do better wrestling. And I wish them the best of lucks without in 2020. Year of the E Feds. I swear to God. Board Feds. I don't know shit about them. I want to learn. I want to learn about them. And they need, and I don't really read a lot, so that's just me. <laughs> CWF, the wrestling is kind of crap, but their product is pretty cool. All these opinions are just my opinions. At the end of the day, I want to see them succeed, so it's not, so it's not like it's in the world. So. And when I say about wrestling is crap, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about some of the wrestlers I see. <laughs> Plus, I'm kind of in kayfabe, and I kind of not. So it's like, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get a lot of heat for that. I'm going to get a lot of heat for that. I'm not saying my wrestling is better than them, but I'm just saying. My product's not that good. Let's leave it at that. My product, my wrestling, is my wrestling. You can like it or you can not like it, but most of my characters are mine. Not all the characters are mine, so whatever. Haha. <laughs> I beat you. Anyways, I'm about to go. I'm about to leave. So thank you guys for listening, watching, whatever. And I bid you all adieu. Ciao.